Welcome back! We're still looking at the accounting records, and they told us that they have bribed Captain Quirk, probably to do that dumping for him, for them. Also, I checked, and the uh, boiling point of liquid nitrogen is actually um, 77 Kelvin, or minus 196 degrees centigrade, which puts it slightly short of our mark, but I guess it can exist at uh, temperatures below minus 200, because it doesn't freeze until minus 210. So, I guess it'll do for our purposes. Let's see if there's any more to this. Yes, one more place. A radial video adapter. A radial video interface. A Raptor 213 megabytes IDE drive. I'm not even using IDE anymore. <laughs> it's been replaced by Serial ATA. Um, but apparently, this research lab is still using it for some reason. A recorder transcriber. A refrigerator. A Spintel Netport Base T. Base T? <laughs> a Base T network? <laughs> Are they kidding? Anyway. Uh, target 64 board. A target board. A WowTech scanner. An X ray machine. A Z80 keyboard controller. <laughs> okay, now they're just making fun of us with all this old, old hardware. And a contour chair, which is apparently spare parts for some reason. Why was the X-ray machine personal, by the way? What are they planning to do with it? Okay. Let's go back to the main menu. And let's uh, look at systems now. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. This is apparently what the research station looked like before. Uh, somebody decided to blow it up. Currently, only number three is left. Envirodome 1. Data link non-functional. Yes, because it's destroyed. Same is true for Envirodome 2. Envirodome 3. Operational. Standby power. Backup computing systems active. Right, and that uh, gave us access to the security button. I guess we can look at the security cameras. There we go. Hey, that's my body! Get out of there! I don't want to hang around in a dumpster. At least now we know where he is. Check the other cameras. <coughs> okay, that's where we started. Where's our communicator? Nothing else suspicious going on. Oh, Cliffy and WD-40 are beaming down. Finally! It's about time Cliffy fixed that dang transporter. I'm really gonna bug him about this one for a long time. Nice pun there, Roger. Okay, well that's all, so... Doesn't look like we can do anything more here, so let's fly away. And head into the keycard slot. Go outside and meet with Cliffy, who can hopefully put our body back. Would be nice. Oh, there's Cliffy. It's none other than WD-40, Annihilator Android, come science officer. I can't look at Cliffy for some reason. Well, let's just fly to him. <coughs> Cliffy, it's just a hunch, but I think there's something wrong with the transporter. Can you describe the problem, sir? like this is another text box that isn't advancing by itself. I hate it when it randomly does that. Will you look at me? I'm a fly! Ya sure are. What happened to the rest of you? He's in a container. 
I think I, uh, I mean he, uh, it, crawled in the trash bin out back. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can fix you up. Uh, what is this dumpster? I think it's behind that large rock outcropping. Lead the way, Captain. Okay, well... Excuse me, Captain. I'm going to scan the perimeter. You do that. Wow, neat. She can still fly. Oh, behind the large rock outcropping, which would be around here somewhere. Ah, there we go. How's your body, Captain? Hmm, some people might say you've never looked better. I think I can fix you up, Captain. I just have to reverse the face polarity on the transporter interface grid. Wait, wasn't that a question on the SAT? I need to park yourself on your own, on old dung breath here for me to descramble the two of you. Okay, let's do so. Here goes nothing. Energize. Boy, Captain, I'm sure glad you're back to no more. You're really starting to bug me. Ha! Huh. Everybody's a comedian. That's not funny, Chief. You made the same joke like five minutes ago. Sorry, sir. Uh, how do you feel? Except for a strange urge to go jump in that fertilizer bin and roll around, I feel pretty normal. I guess that is pretty normal for Roger. I sure have some setup those genetics boys got here. You haven't seen the half of it. I flew through this locking mechanism and found a big underground lab next door. Of course, there was only so much I could do there as a fly. Anyway, there was a lot of really high-tech gizmos and all kinds of advanced technology. A moment too late, you realize saying the words advanced technology to Cliffy is like showing a photograph of helpless women and children to a Doberman Pinscher. A hungry gleam comes to your engineer's eye. Right. Really? Uh, why don't we take a closer look at that lock, Captain? You never know. If we can open it, we might even find something we can use against the pukoid critters. I'll meet you there. And he slowly walks away. Well, at least I'm me again. It's you! Roger Wilco, wacky space guy, and no longer a fly. A worn footpath leads to the foot of the bin. This trash dumpster is similar to many others you have serviced during your long and distinguished janitorial career. Distinguished. I didn't think he was that good at it. The function of this machinery is utterly beyond your comprehension. But then, so are a lot of other things. Well, he's not wrong there. You can't quite put your finger on what it is, but this palm tree gives a vaguely menacing impression. I don't know why either, to be honest. <coughs> um, that's not what I meant to do. Perimeter secured, Captain Wilco. Here is your communicator, sir. I located it during my scans in the area. Thanks, WD-40. I believe I can be of the most help back on the ship. Please be me aboard, Cliffy. Okay, well, let's see if we can't get through that lock in our own normal person-sized form. It looks like an electronic card key lock. 
because that's what it is. That will not be of any help. Maybe we can just force the door open. Not here. Okay. Well, we do have a cart. But that's probably not going to work. I'm actually going to try it, but I'm going to save first. Because I think you might lose points if you try it without the card being right. The lock simply rejects your card. Uh, no, we did not lose any points, which is good. Well, um, we know what parts of the um, locking mechanism must be blocked. So if we can cut the right holes into the card, we should be able to make it work. And we have a hole punch, which we took from Cliffy's tool toolbox way back at the beginning. By the way, if you hadn't taken it, you can actually beam back at this point and get it. So that's not a problem. <coughs> now, we saw that the um, beans at the end needed to be blocked, while everything else needed to be... Uh, not blocked, I guess. So, we cut holes in the shape of an X. Which should do the trick. There we go! It looks dangerous down there, Captain. I volunteer to stand guard up here. Brave as always, aren't you, Cliffy? How about that uh, technology you were so interested in? Well, I guess we'll go back inside the lab in the next video.